Welcome to the Braid Zone. Today we're going to do a single braid and it'll just be a regular three strand. However, I'm also going to throw in a couple accents so you can see what to do with the accent hair. Taking off a section from the top and we're going to braid that into a three strand braid. Break it into three pieces. Um, one of the ways I like to teach a three-strand braid is I tell a story. I tell people that there are three siblings and they're fighting over who gets to be in the middle. And so, of course, as always, mom comes along and says, you need to share. And so they take turns jumping into the middle. The out str outside strands take turns jumping into the middle. And then when you gather into a three-strand French braid, section from the top, drop that into the middle, make sure all the wisps are smooth, and then continue with this story. Whose turn is it to be in the middle this time? It's the outside strand, so it jumps in the middle, take the gather, drop that into the middle, Make sure your whips are in place. And whose turn is it next? It's the opposite outside strand. Outside strand goes in the middle. And the outside strand goes into the middle. At this point, we're where um, a high ponytail would sit. And this is where we want to take out our first accent piece. Reach underneath, notice how there is hair that hasn't been used because it sits exactly under the braid. We're going to pull that out and we're going to set it aside. Then we're going to pretend we never did that and we're going to keep braiding. So again, take your gather, as usual, drop that into the middle strand, and the outside strand goes into the middle. At this point, it's been enough space that we can reach under again, take out the hair that's immediately under the braid, and set that aside. Pretend we never did it and keep braiding. Take your gather, drop it into the middle. And the outside strand goes into the middle. Take a strand, drop it into the middle, and the outside strand goes into the middle. Gather, drop it into the middle, and the outside strand goes into the middle. Gather, drop it into the middle. The outside strand goes into the middle. It looks like it's time for another gather or for another accent, so we're going to reach underneath the braid and take that hair and we'll set it aside. Then we're going to gather our regular gathers. So we'll take a section, drop that into the middle. And the outside strand goes into the middle. Take a regular gather, drop it in the middle, and then the outside strand goes into the middle. Take a gather, drop it in the middle, 
And the outside strand goes into the middle. Take a gather, drop it in the middle. And the outside strand goes into the middle. Take a gather, drop it into the middle. And the outside strand goes into the middle. Take a gather, drop it into the middle. Outside strand goes into the middle. Take a gather, drop it into the middle. Outside strand goes into the middle. Take a gather, drop it into the middle. Outside strand goes into the middle. Last gather goes in the middle. And then continue alternating outside in the middle, opposite. Outside in the middle, opposite. Outside in the middle. Continue that all the way to the bottom. Apply a rubber band. And now we have three accent pieces of hair that we can play with. We want to make sure the canvas is smooth, so we're going to apply a light mist of hairspray. You can use the tail end of the comb to get those wisps in line with the rest of the braid. of those wisps in place with their original gather. Alright, once you have the canvas ready, you can play with your accents. Accents can be loose hair or any small number strand. You can do a one strand twist um, as an accent, three strand braid, five strand braid, nine strand braid. Any, any braid that you can do on the hair, you can do in a uh, mini section of the hair as an accent. And then I'll layer it. Come on, straight ahead. So what we're going to do today is something that is called a push-up. A push-up is just a regular braid that gets pushed up upon itself. Today we'll do a three-strand push-up to match the three-strand French braid on her head. This can be done with a two strand rope, four strand, nine strand, any number that you can braid can be pushed up. You want to braid a little tighter at the very top and as you go further down this braid you want to get looser and looser. That's because towards the bottom her hair is going to get thinner. It helps to do tight at the top loose at the bottom, medium in between. We have three, there's three strands of hair. You need to hold one in a hand and you need to hold two in another hand. The one that's holding two or the hand that's holding two strands needs to loosen those strands. So go ahead and loosen it. Push down enough to, to hold everything in place. Pull the single strand Slide this up. This creates a fun design that shows better if you uh, spread it out. So don't make it super tight. Spread it up just enough so that you can see what's happening. And then you need to bind this. So a perfect binding agent here would be a dental band. Super tiny, similar hair color. Bind that in place up top. The best way to get this rubber band out the next day is to break it. Don't ever try to pull that down out of her hair later. Just want to break that. This is our first one. We'll do the next two.
Alright, the next fun step is to make this look like a flower. We're going to pin the rubber band to the beginning of the braid. So we'll spin this around upon itself. Make it flat. Make sure the rubber band is under the beginning. Find it and pin it. Make sure the bobby pin is hidden. You don't want to see that bobby pin. So to help make this look like an actual flower, we're going to stick flower decoration in there. And that should make that whole decor pop. Next one, spin it around itself. Tuck that rubber band underneath so it's hidden. Pin the rubber band in place. Make sure the bobby pin is hidden. And apply a flower. Third one, wrap it in around itself. Make sure the flower is flat. Bobby pin the rubber band to the beginning of the braid. You'll notice that I'm putting gel on the tails. I want the, je the tails to be crispy because we're going to use them to weave a design. This is a latch hook. A latch hook is great for tucking tails. You can make these tails disappear or you can do something even more fun with them. I am weaving it through the hair, grabbing a hold of the tail, Pulling it through. And apply some hairspray to this. Make it a little more crispy so it does what I want. Spinning it around into a fun design, which is up to you and at your whimsy. We will continue weaving the loose hair through the bound hair, the hair that made the braid. Because that hair is bound, it holds the loose hair pretty securely, especially the longer it is. You're welcome to use bobby pins if you feel the need. Hairspray works great. Once it's looped all the way through the bound hair in those little ringlets and curls and twists, it holds really well with hairspray. So that is one accent that you can use with accent hair. If you're interested in my book, feel free to look it up. And we are recreating the identical French braid with three accent pieces left out. Again, when you're taking an accent, make sure it comes from underneath the braid and just set it aside and keep braiding as normal. And even though all three of these styles are just regular French braids, you can do this with any strand number. Even though we're using three strands on these three braids, you can use a two strand rope or a five strand or a nine strand. Any number that you want to braid your French braid with um, go ahead and do that. These are just three strands for uh, the sake of ease in the video. And set aside your accent strand of hair and keep braiding. And braid all the way down the tail. As you can see, this is the same braid that we just did a hairstyle on. It has the same three accent strands left out in the same place. And make sure you use hairspray on the canvas so that when you do those accents, 
you have a nice material with which to lay it upon. The accent we're going to do this time will be a two strand knot. So take one of those accent pieces and just tie some knots in it all the way down to the end of the tail. When you run out of hair, use a, a miniature rubber band to bind the two ends together. And the length of the hair will shorten a little bit, kind of springs up when you release it. And we'll do this for all three um, accent strands. Just tie knots in them. I like to alternate which strand I'm leading the tie with so that I don't run out of hair with one of the strands. Again, I, I use a dental band at the end to hold them together because they're tiny and very strong. And this is our last accent. So I broke it into two pieces and am tying it all the way down to the end in knots. I'm alternating the strand that leads the tie so that I don't run out of hair. You may pin these accent strands any way you want. Um, they can be on the sides of the braids, they can be piled on top of the braids. Notice how they're in the same place as the previous hairstyle. Just using a different accent changes the look so much. That's what I love about accents. You can set these three hairstyles side by side. It's the same French braid, the same three accent strands left out. And just by creating different accents, you come up with three completely different looks. I'm using a bobby pin to catch the rubber band and the end of the mini knot accent braid and I am tucking those underneath a gather so that they disappear. The rubber band is hidden and the end of the tail is hidden. Again just catch the rubber band the end of the tail with a bobby pin, lift up the flap of a gather, tuck those underneath the gather and let them disappear. And there you have what looks like a pile of curls. The knot accent is very quick and creates an elaborate curly look that looks like it takes five times longer than it really did. For me to tie knots down the length of an accent strand takes one minute, to pin it takes another minute. So those three accents took six minutes, but it looks like something that would take 20 and it doesn't. It's pretty quick. So instead of having three buttons, we have a pile of little curls in back. It's kind of sweet looking. We are going to do a third accent. So again, create the French braid. Um, I used three strands just so that you can see the differences side by side of how these accents change the look of one simple hairstyle. Everybody knows what a French braid is. Not everybody knows what a French braid with different accents is. And so this is trying to encourage you to understand the differences between accents. This accent is a rope. We're doing mini two strand ropes. So we're taking all three of these accent strands and we are creating little miniature ropes out of them. The way you do that is to just break an accent strand into two pieces, twist both of them in a direction, the same direction, and then wrap them around each other going the opposite direction. That way they don't unwind when you let go. And I do tie them off at the ends with a dental band. Once again, I just want to point out that these ropes can be draped or piled in any manner. 
it's completely up to you. They can be off to the side of the braid. They can be covering the braid. Um, if you want to put ribbon in those while you're making them, you can, or beads. I'm not trying to teach you how to do a hairstyle. I'm trying to teach you how to be creative. And accents is such a fun way to be creative. Once you get those accents um, braided out, what you do with them is your creativity. That's where the fun part comes. So sure, it's great if you want to recreate these three exactly like this, but it's even better if you turn around and take out more accent pieces or take your accent pieces out from different places or create different miniature braids and then use those as accents so that what you're creating looks nothing like what's on this video. Now that you know where and how to take out accent pieces and what you can do with them, hopefully you'll let your creativity, your imagination start stirring up and uh, you'll create something fun. Ropes are pretty durable. I don't usually need to use hairspray when I'm done with the ropes, but you're welcome to. It keeps uh, the wispies from coming out when you sleep on them. So hairspray is always great when you are finished with a hairstyle. These are pearl pins that I'm adding in and silk flowers or paper flowers. Any kind of gem decoration helps these accents really pop and stand out. I'm a big fan of decorations after a hairstyle is done. So as you can see, completely different look. Same three strand French braid, same three accent strands in the same place, and yet all three of those styles were completely different. So here is that French braid, and here are the three accent strands. We're not gonna do another style, I just wanna remind you that all three of those styles were made from this what I call base braid, a three strand French braid with three uh, accent strands left out. So this is what we did. These are what you can do. Um, as long as you let your imagination free, you can create any look. Basic, simple, spectacular, it's up to you. Thank you so much for joining us at Finding Braids. We'll see you next time.